I don't know if you noticed, but a new generation of AMD CPUs just launched. But what hasn't launched with it is any new motherboards, because those are coming later this year. But seeing how they're both using the AM5 socket now, which one should you buy? Should you use Saverbook by going with last gen X670, or do you want all the latest and greatest features with X870? I guess first we should figure out what happened with X770, huh? Well, the simple answer is that they just wanted to be on the same numbering as Intel, because of course. So what exactly do you get by going with X870 then? Well, the big differences mainly come to the PCIe speeds, because a PC Gen 5 graphics card slot and a PC Gen 5 N.2 NVMe slot are now required. Though kind of the depressing part about that is that we still don't really have any PC Gen 5 graphics cards to even make use of that, though maybe with rumors of next-gen NVIDIA GPUs launching in late 2024, that could very much change before a lot of these motherboards finally release. Another really welcome change with this chipset compared to X670 is the fact that you are getting USB 4, which is another huge win. And by the way, if you can't keep track of all the weird USB naming schemes, USB 4 basically just means 40 gigabit per second. And overall, when it comes to their I.O. and other key features, these brand new X870 motherboards will pretty much be on par with the last gen B650E, which were these weird mid-range to high-end boards that AMD offered. And that makes sense, given how that's no longer a thing. Yep, we are not getting a B850E chipset now anymore this generation, which as much as I liked them, and I even run a B650E motherboard myself, I do totally understand that, because even though they're extremely fun motherboards, they did make things very confusing, and they trampled on the feet of X670 and X670E a bit too much, making things way too convoluted for most consumers. So while we do lose that mid-range to enthusiast option, we do however gain a brand new mainstream chipset with B840, which is an even cheaper version of B850. And while it's missing quite a few features, a lot of it is stuff many people might even care about, and thus it can end up saving you a lot of money. But that deserves its own video, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. Like, like I'm waiting for- do it right now! Come on, you're holding up the entire video by not doing it. Finally, if you go with any of the brand new 800 series chips and motherboards, you also have the advantage of not having to worry about updating the BIOS to even have these brand new Ryzen 9000 CPUs be supported. They'll just work right out of the box versus older 600 series chipsets where you're going to have to update the BIOS yourself. Now, while most motherboards now have some kind of BIOS flashback features, it's still obviously a bit of a pain, though I guess that most people would just prefer to spend less and then have to worry about updating the BIOS for a couple of minutes. So, should you go with X870 then? Well, so far these motherboards are looking very exciting, with tons of modern I.O. and other great features. Not to mention the fact that every generation has a slightly different aesthetic, so if you want your PC to look as modern as possible, then of course these 800 series chipsets are also going to help with that. However, if you really don't care about all of that, if you really don't need a high-speed PC connectivity, then you can totally save a buck by going last gen. And these things are going to be drastically dropping down in price now and after the launch of X870 and the other new chipsets. So which remote board are you going to be getting? Let me know down in the comments below and maybe check out our Patreon so we can cover as many of these as possible when they come out. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Polish Volker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Level Up and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.